Yo what is up you guys, welcome back to another very exciting video tutorial. So in this video tutorial, you are going to be learning how to implement shakes into your application. So to simulate a shake onto my simulator, I'm going to go to hardware and shake gesture. Click on it and once a shake is detected, the label automatically changes to shake detected. So you are going to be learning how to implement shake functionality in this short video tutorial. I hope you are as excited as I am. So without further ado, let's dive right in into it. The first thing I want to do is to fire up Xcode beta. User standard procedure I want to create a new Xcode project. And I want to call this a single application and give this a name of shakes because that's what the main point of this video. Then make sure our language is Swift. And then we are going to create this project in our desktop. So the first thing I'm going to do is to head into our main dot storyboard where we will drag in a label. Filter for a label. Click on this label and drag it to the view controller. Now click on this label. Go to the attributes inspector. Change the text of the label to shake undetected. And you're going to set the alignment to the center. And then you'll change the font size by heading to the font property. And then you'll change the size to something big, for example, like 35. Now you're going to click on this label and press Command Plus to resize to fit. Now we align it both vertically and horizontally. And now let's hook up this label into our code so that we can modify the behavior of this label. So to open up the Assistant Editor, I'm going to close this side pane by clicking on this button. Then I'm going to press on this button, which consists of two circles overlapping each other. Now click on the label, or you can click it on the view controller itself. So just click on the label, right click and drag it all the way to the code. And now you're going to call this shake label. There you have it. Now close it. And here it's your viewcontrol.swift. So as you can see, the viewcontrol.swift file gets updated with a new line of code. So now, in order to add the shake functionality into our application, we first need to override the motions ended function. Then we want to check whether the motions passed in is of type motion shake. To do that, we need to wrap this in an if else statement. So if the motion being passed in is indeed equal to dots. And as you can see, there are a variety of options that you can actually check for. But the one we're interested in is motion shake. So let's use motion shake. Then this means that the user has indeed shaked the device. And once the user has shaked their device, all we want to do is to change the text property of the shake label. And we set it equal to shake detected with an exclamation point. And else, so if the motion being passed in is not of type shake, then we are just going to return because we have no use for the function. Now, change our device to iPhone 7. And because that's where we'll run it, and because we haven't set up auto layout, things won't look properly on other devices. But regardless, make sure you run this on an iPhone 7. And let's tr try to build and run it and see how this goes. Shake undetected. So to actually simulate shake on a simulator, you're not going to shake your whole computer. Instead, there's actually a way for you to simulate shake. To do that, go to hardware. And over here, you can see shake gesture. Alternatively, you can also use the shortcut keyboard commands. But in, in this case, I'm just going to click on the shake gesture button. So click on it. Shake detected. Brilliant. So that's how you detect a shake in a user's device. So congratulations for making it to the end of this video tutorial. If you enjoyed or benefited from this video tutorial, be sure to leave this video a thumbs up. And comment down below what you want to see next in this channel. 
This is Ben. Peace out.